It's Liddy over here, okay? It's Litty. With another video, I'm back, and today I'm about to be doing another look because I love to pull looks, honey. That's what I do. It's what I do. Okay. So if y'all want to see what look I'm about to pull off, uh, y'all need to stay tuned. Now, before we even get into the video, I'm gonna need you guys to subscribe to my channel right now, turn on your post notifications, and become a part of the Gaiaverse because it's Liddy over here, okay? It's Litty. It's Liddy. All right, so today I'm gonna be doing a look inspired by butterflies. I have a very, very deep connection with butterflies. Um, I'm not going to try to draw butterflies on my face or anything, but I am gonna be using um, just those colors, you know, that yellow, that orange, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be pulling a, a nice little look and I can't wait for you guys to see what I cook up because you know I'm coming with the smoke all my life. I was gonna say all 2020, all 2020, but 2020 needs to be thrown away. So I'm gonna just say all my life I'm coming with the smoke. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see what look I create, stay tuned the video as always I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and one eye off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I did so let's go okay as always we are starting off with my P Louise base it's already blended out and next I'm gonna take this yellow shade from the Zulu palette I love Juvia's place Palettes. They're so fire. And I'm going to blend this as a transition shade and make sure it's nice and blended. Next, I'm going to be taking that orange shade and I'm putting that right underneath as a second transition shade. Make sure that's nice and blended out. Then I'm adding Zakia from another Juvia's Place palette. Um, I will link it in the description box and I'm blending that into my crease to add some depth. Now I'm taking my P. Louise base in white and I'm basically gonna cut my crease to perfection. I'm not gonna cut the, in I'm not gonna like bring it out and like wing it out. I'm kind of just like gonna stop almost like that, basically like that. Y'all see, y'all see what I'm doing. Then I'm adding this gold shade from the Box of Crayons palette halfway. Then I'm gonna add the orange shade on the second half. And you're gonna see me do that right after this. Just like that. I really like this eyeshadow look it's really cute so now I'm taking Zakia again and I'm gonna blend my crease out just so it looks more blended and just seamless then I'm taking my morphe eyeliner and I think it's called blackout um, and I'm basically just going to slay my eyeliner real quick cuz your girl getting good at eyeliner like honestly truly 
I'm that girl. So the last thing that I'm going to do is put on some eyelashes and I'm using high maintenance lashes. All right guys, so my eyes are semi done. As always, I'm about to do my foundation off camera. My foundation is semi done. I'm gonna contour with you guys just a little bit. And I wanted to add blush, so I thought it would be cool to come back and do my blush on camera. Um, so yeah. All right, so today I'm gonna be contouring with my Crayon Case Contortionist palette. I'm gonna use Bricky and Bobby, and I'm just gonna get a little contour going. I don't contour too much. All right, so today I thought it would be really cute to contour with an orange shade. I'm gonna be using Morocco from my Juvia's Place palette. This one is called Nubian 4 palette. And I'm just gonna con, I'm gonna use like a little bit of blush and kind of just frame my face a little bit. I feel like this is a really nice shade to add a little bit of color to the face. I think this looks really pretty though. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about orange blush and if you've ever tried orange blush. All right, so before I highlight, I always like to spray my face. I'm using e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. All right, I'm gonna grab a nice little fluffy brush and I'm gonna get to highlighting. I normally use Bakwa, but today I'm gonna be using Marimi because I don't want my highlight to be that, uh, like, too gold. So, moving back to my eyes, I'm going to grab some eyeliner. I say this in every video, I don't splurge on eyeliner. If you splurging on eyeliner, honey, that's on you. I'm going to take this and put it in my waterline. And then I'm going to take a little tiny brush and I'm gonna take that orange shade called I don't think it has a name, but I'm gonna take my the orange shade that I used in my crease, the really bright one, and I'm gonna add that right underneath, just like so. I'm only gonna use this orange shade because I don't really feel as if I need to use the other orange. Okay, I'm gonna grab that yellow shade and I'm gonna put it right underneath. Smoke it out. All right, I'm gonna add the same shade that I highlighted with and I'm gonna take that and put it in my inner corner. So I'm gonna be using my Morphe pencil in Bite Me and I'm gonna line my lips. Like so. Now I have this shade called Hey Sugar, also by Morphe, and I'm gonna put that in the middle. And I'm gonna take this really old MAC lipstick called Mademoiselle, and I'm gonna put that right in the middle. I'm gonna finish off with this rose hip oil lip gloss that I get from the beauty store. And okay, so now to finish off, I'm gonna do one more setting spray and I'm using my 
Milani Make It Last. So I'm about to go add some extra pieces to my hair and change my outfit and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. I decided to put on this cute shirt that I got from Sheen. Um, I was going for kind of like 70s vibes with this look. Um, I'm wearing my bell bottoms. Eventually, when I upgrade to a better space, I'll be able to give you guys more full body um, footage. I'm gonna try to get better footage eventually, but until then, I, am, I did do like a little scattered kind of PC little look of what I'm wearing. I got the belt. I got the, basically I got the whole outfit from Sheen. I got this from the thrift store. It's a furry little headband, which I thought would go really cute. Um, I got the necklace from Sheen. I got the shirt from Sheen. I got the pants from Sheen. And the belt is a vintage belt that I got from the thrift store. So... I didn't put on any shoes because it's kind of pointless to put on shoes when I'm filming videos. So I really had fun doing this look. This was a really fun look. Like I really like it. Um, orange is always my color. I look so good in orange. <sighs> Period. This look was inspired by butterflies. And if you don't feel like it was inspired by butterflies, catch me outside. How about that? And that's just that on that. Cause I feel like I did my thing, all right? And I look so cute, like I look adorable. I'm, I'm feeling myself, I'm about to take buku pictures for the gram. And if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, I am at underscore in Gaia. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hey, give me a comment. Let me know how you guys felt about the video. Let me know if you want to see any new videos from me and what other content that you guys want to see because I just want to give you guys everything. If I'm interested in it, you're going to see a video. If I went through it, you're going to see a video. I just want to put it all out there, okay? And I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video.